Off a day and good evening. I'm Nurse Jen. Welcome to Go Healthy. This evening, let's discuss what you should know about newborn hearing tests and hearing loss. Hearing loss is any condition that affects how a baby perceives sound. Hearing tests, also known as the autoacoustic emission screening, is recommended soon after birth, usually while still in the hospital, using sensitive microphones placed in the baby's ear canal to record your baby's response to sound. At minimum, within two weeks of age, your baby's hearing should be tested. The testing is quick, it's easy, non-invasive, and it won't hurt your baby. In fact, many babies actually sleep right through the screening tests. It's important that mommy and daddy understand the possible consequences of a hearing loss, which includes delay in speech and language development. Language develops very quickly in the early ages of life and is the foundation of learning. If your baby has not been tested yet, the University of Guam actually provides pediatric evaluation and developmental services with an audiologist for diagnostic testing. Now, let's head into this week's trivia question. When should a parent consider having their child repeat a hearing test? A, if the child gets more than four ear infections in one year. B, if their child avoids eating cold foods because it hurts their ear. Or C, if their child asks about hearing devices. The correct answer is A. Hearing tests should be repeated if your child gets more than four ear infections in one year or if a concern about hearing ability occurs. I'm Nurse Jen, registered nurse, reminding you to be healthy is to go healthy. Now go enjoy cuddling with your newborn because they're such a cutie patootie.